By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create and customize these sliders in your Thunkable apps. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another Thunkable tip. In this series, we're going to be working with the slider component. We're going to make a variety of different apps so that you can use this very useful component within your app. To get started then, let's create a little demo app, learn all about the slider. Uh, when it opens up then, we're only going to need the one component. We're just going to need the slider, which we're going to drag and drop like so into our uh, app. So straight away looking at the properties, we can see we can set two different colors. We've got a width, but no height. Uh, and we've got these max and min values. These are new to us, as well as thumb enable, thumb position, um, which we wouldn't have seen before. Um, okay, so if we go and test this out on our live testing app, we'll see then that this is a tiny little slider. We're going to have to change some of those properties in order to make this work a little bit better. So on screen one then, let's put everything into the middle of the screen so that it's just a little bit easier to use. These work best kind of in the middle or towards the bottom of the screen. Um, I'll get rid of my status bar there for testing. And then um, in terms of the slider itself, we want to make the whole thing a little bit wider. So let's make it, uh, let's make it 96% of the screen like so. Okay, so this is what our slider looks like once we've kind of set it up. Uh, we're able to move the little green dot here back and forth, left and right. And you can see on the left hand side, it's this orange color. And then as it fills up, the gray bit on the right gets smaller and smaller like that. Um, so that's how the component works. Let's take a look at the blocks then. Okay, so in the slider one, in the slider one then, what we have is an event here called slider one dot position changed and it gives us this local variable called thumb position. That's pretty self-explanatory, so let's just have a look at what type of value, I suppose, uh, thumb position gives us back. So in screen one dot title, let's hover over thumb position, drag and drop in this variable, and we can test it out again. So moving back and forth like this, you can see we get these decimal numbers, so uh, numbers with a little decimal point in them, uh, displaying in the title of screen one. Great. Okay, let's go back to our designer so for a second, and let's change the, the range of values here. So let's set it to 510 rather than uh, 50 and 10. Okay, so what happens here now, it's uh, reset the app in my live test, and as we go back and forth, we see that up to about 100, we get about one decimal place of accuracy, and then once we go over around 256, I think, it starts to uh, give us more and more accuracy. So you can see here we've got five decimal places, like so. Uh, that's very useful if you want to be very precise, but sometimes you don't need that level of accuracy. So what if we want to round that number off? What if we want to make it just um, the integer, just the whole number? So we can use this math block here called format as decimal. We'll format the thumb position number. And rather than displaying one decimal place or four or five decimal places, we're gonna round this off truncate the whole thing and just show zero decimal places. So now loading it uh, or testing it again, we see that everything is a nice round whole number like that. The next thing I will do is customize the appearance of the slider so we can change the um, progress color here. We can change the um, color on the left as well, like this. Could set it. This could be a balance, maybe. We could go back and forth like that between the two. Uh, so it's very easy to change the appearance of your slider. And the last thing then I want to show is how to how to center the uh, thumb position. So by default, the thumb position or in the designer, the thumb position is set to 30 here. So even if we had a huge range like 510, it'll still be way off over here to the to the left. Uh, so what we're going to do is put it into the middle of the screen when the app loads. So let's say when screen one done initialize, what we're going to do then is set the thumb position. Uh, that's this setter here. Uh, thumb position rather than thumb enabled. That's not a big deal. We can click our drop down, choose thumb position. And um, what we want to do is set it halfway. So if you're going to go the midpoint of any number, you're going to have to divide by two, like so. So go into math, divide by two like this and what are we going to divide by two we're going to divide the the range it's called in maths anyway so we're going to get the difference 
between the minimum and the maximum thumb positions. So slider one dot min value, slider one dot uh, max value then for this one. And that should put it at the um, midway, the midpoint value, let's say, rather than the middle of the actual um, slider itself. And then what we're gonna do is, let's just show that in the title of screen one. So remember, we can use any one of those setters, choose the property that we want, and then we're going to display the home position like this in our title. Uh, so we'll have to go back, we'll have to reload this, let's change it to another color. Um, something that stands out here. Okay, and then, uh, so we've got, uh, because we've divided by two, it's uh, it hasn't done our rounding, um, but we're able to move back and forth here, left and right. Like so. Okay, so this is our very quick introduction to the slider component. I um, hope you found it interesting. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button. If you want to see more of these daily thunkable tips, then click subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time a new video drops, then click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.